These color home movies were taken by the invading U.S. Marines in August 1942 at the island of Guadalcanal. Here, the Japanese were building an airfield that would enable them to cut the critically important U.S.-Australian lifeline in the South Pacific. Led by General Alexander Vandergrift, the Marines were there to make sure that didn't happen. Coming ashore was easy as the Japanese fled to the interior of the island. By August 8th, the Americans had control of the airstrip. But taking the entire island would be much tougher for the Marines. They would have to overcome both the tenacious Japanese defenders and the sweltering jungle temperatures. At Guadalcanal, each side would pour in troops and materials to try to tip the balance in their favor. What these films, the only color footage known to exist, don't show is the intense fighting on the island and at sea that would take place over the next six months for control of Guadalcanal. The Japanese finally withdrew from the island in January 1943. For the Allies, it was the first successful major offensive action of World War II. It would be closely followed by another on the other side of the world in the desert sands of North Africa. <laughs> 